and welcome to Hofgut Brook. This is a uh, European map. Uh, it is for PC and Mac, and it's available via the Giants Mod Hub. And, uh, and yeah, this was released uh, uh, just under two weeks ago. So uh, this was released on the 6th of uh, March. And uh, and yeah, I thought I'd have a look around it. We've got a, we've got a, 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 a map that has been released recently. So uh, let's, let's go and take a look around. So uh, this is by... Uh, ethnic snack seems to be the creator of this map, and it's a really interesting looking map. It's got a fairly large field setup. So let's uh, actually let's go and have a look at the map itself first. So this is this is the the map. Um, odd shaped fields, and uh, we've got twenty no thirty six fields. I see thirty seven. Uh, there we go. So we're thirty seven fields by the looks of it. All of varying sizes, all of varying shapes. Some really interesting shapes on this map. So, like, uh, field 14 is a massively interesting shape. Field 12 looks incredible uh, as a shape. Uh, and you've got everything from sort of field 28, which is a huge field, down to field 13 here, which is tiny. Uh, if we have a look at the, uh, the layout of this uh, and the prices on the map, we have, uh, so our smallest field, so our smallest field is 13, but that's lumped in with 12. That's 898,000. So 16 seems to be our smallest individual fields to purchase, uh, possibly 32, 34. So actually, yeah, so you look at the prices of those, uh, the cheapest field on this map would appear to be field uh, 34 at 21,000. Uh, so very, very affordable if you're starting to start from scratch. Uh, the most expensive one would, I think, must be Field 28. You've got the whole out of the map, but uh, that is, uh, yeah, that's not something you're really looking to buy. Uh, but Field 28 there is a 2,278,000. So, yeah, you seem to have a big variety of fields here uh, and uh, field prices, which is fantastic. So we're going to head around the map. Uh, we're going to head out this way. Now, I've found there are some issues with what appear to be marked as roads on the map. Uh, in that they're not always easy to see. We've got a very... I, it, I really quite like the openness to this. This does feel very much like a European map. We're going to head out this way. And down here. Now, the interesting thing is, what we have at the moment, this looks like a road on the map. And, and is a road. But... South of here, down that side there, that again is marked as a, it appears to be marked as a road on the map. That isn't. So down between field two and field eight, that is not a road. So there are some issues with the PDA there where the roads aren't always clear, which is a bit of a disappointment, but uh, not a massive thing. You just might find yourself in a tricky spot uh, if you try and go down something that isn't a road. Uh, nice little town area here. I'm guessing this is uh, this is the the village, the town itself. No uh, cell point here, as far as I can see, looking at the map. But still a nice little bit of uh, a little bit of detail. Not the most detailed map. Uh, there seems to be a, a certain amount of care that has been taken on it. Uh, it. I mean, it is it is a nice looking map, but it doesn't have uh, doesn't have the huge amount of detail that you see on other maps. Some nice building though, some nice variety in the towns and uh, oh, a nice little boating lake there as well. So it's not it's not completely devoid of detail. Uh, it's just bits like uh, the side of this road is a, a little bit uneven and, and, and you know a little bit rough for my liking. But nothing major to be honest. Nothing uh, nothing majorly looks wrong with it. So we've got uh, what appears to be a garage area here. Yeah, this looks like a sort of a satellite yard. Nice big satellite yard. Can you open these up? This almost looks like... Um, oh, wow. Nice sound on those doors. This almost looks like a, a satellite yard and a... Uh, and a horse ranch, almost. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is interesting. Uh, there are horses and cows and things at the main farm so we might try and make it back to the main farm at the end of this but it's there is a lot of a lot of 
sort of space and it feels a very animally part of the map this now this is the interesting thing is because these are the cheapest fields and you can see for the, the for the expense they're not that small and i think i think certainly start off with you might be do well to start off with a grass setup and because you start looking at these fields beyond this and they are huge i mean look look at this field so this is field five to our right here that is massive so this is definitely definitely a big equipment map this would you would do well uh, with big equipment on here and even multiple big equipment that looks to me like you can easily build up to that you know they, the, the the map has the availability to build up to, to that size of stuff but you are talking the big big i mean even field six so field six is what we have to the right of us at the moment even that is a pretty large field that's kind of the, that's almost the largest field i would expect to see on other maps so uh, yeah, those there's some big stuff in it. Uh, we have uh, what appears to be yeah, that is a. So, oh no, this is the cell point. So this is the cell point for eggs. I'm guessing. Ah yeah, here we go. So we've got a cell point, uh, a general cell point here, and then we've got uh, what would appear to be a cell point for. Uh, milk there and I think if we head over here yeah and there we go and we got our animals so this is uh, this is the animal markets where you sell uh, and it's where you sell other bits and pieces as well uh, where you sell milk looks like where you sell some grains as well now back a little bit I am going to backtrack a little bit uh, because we're heading up to the edge of the map anyway so let's uh, let's head back this way because we did miss a cell point and I'm wondering if I can cut across because we need some way to get down to a field for sort of 21 and 11 so I'm guessing there's a way across there but this is a cell point in here as well there we go in fact yeah so here we are so we've got a cell point in here uh, for there so we will go through the cell points at the end of this video and then we head down here and this uh, again it's marked on the, the map as a road, so that's that's really nice. Looks like there's a placeable area to our left there. Not easy to get to. Maybe that's a... Oh, that could be. That's a pond, actually. I can see a little bit of water to this. That's not a placeable... It's, it's hard to tell some of these areas on this map uh, from the PDA. I, I have to be honest. That is a little bit... I'm, I'm liking the dirt roads. There's a lot of character to this map in various places but the size of these fields are the thing that I'm really struggling to get over. I thought the size of the fields on, uh, on Sutton Farm were big. This is just incredibly huge. This is a massive, massive map. Uh, I think it would make I think it would make really good a really good map for multiplayer. It would work really well on this. You have two or three harvesters uh, going around a field with an overloader. You would, yeah, you would have a lot of fun playing this with that. Single player, I think you're going to struggle. I think this is this is very much not a map that you could you could easily play single player on because you'd you'd have to be using course play or something like that just to, to sort of keep things going. We've got can't get up that way which is interesting i don't know how i get to field 13 we are yeah there's no way i can see to get to field 13 from here which is interesting it seems to be sort of in the middle of field 12 field 14 we can see to our left at the moment and uh, it's got that copse of trees in the middle of it over there so that's why that's got the weird shape it also has a, a section of them at the top so it's lots of lots of woodland and forestry and stuff built into the middle of fields here, which is quite an interesting uh, concept to see. And up the end here we have what would appear to be ah, in fact yeah, coming out to the road here. So that's the edge of the map over there. Edge of the map does not seem to be particularly horrible. Uh, it's quite nicely raised, so the edge of the map does not look uh, too weird. 
big placeable area here. Very open, this map. Seems to be uh, one of the things. I, I'm i not too sure about that. I, th I think from a... I'm not sure what part of Europe this is. Just having a look. Baltic Sea. So we're talking Eastern, Eastern European here. For this map, which is uh, really interesting. I've not, I've not had, I, I, I get a very sort of Germanic feel to this map, but I've not, I've not got an Eastern European feel from this map. It is, it does feel to be that, that side of, um, but mind you, I suppose, yeah, it's, it's could be on that, on that side of Germany, but it's, yeah, it, it feels more like a German map to me than, than a, a massively Eastern European map. Which is probably going to show up my geography. <laughs> uh, let's head into here. So this here is the shop. Uh, it looks like we have another sell point here as well. So we'll head around the back here. And yet we have a sell point at this point. And around the front here we have a workshop by the looks of things. And we have the main shop as well. And that comes out onto this roadway here. And we do have cars. We do have some traffic on the roads here. And we're going to head off to the west from this point. So back on the road we were just on. And heading out this way. And yeah, it is really, really massive. There's not anywhere on this map that I've not felt not felt the need for massive stuff even even the stuff where we didn't start where we were looking at small fields we were looking at fields that were like 20,000 they were still huge and I've no this this is not I don't believe this is a four times map I believe this is a is a stand two by two map and it does just feel huge because of the these field size I mean this is Field 24, we've been driving along the side of Field 24 for ages. And this isn't even the biggest field on the map. We are, we are coming to that. In fact, no, we're not. We're, we're not. Oh, yeah, we are. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to drive down this way. I want to go and have a look at the forest. I'm not sure. Yeah, there is a road to the forest there. So we will cut back in a minute for that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we're just driving so far on this. So it's, I, I, there's nothing in the description that says this is anything other than the 2x2. Two two, which is, um, which is amazing. This just feels huge. Which, I know I'm, I'm repeating myself a lot on that. But I mean, just look at that. If we zoom out to this. These fields are, whoa, why is it I keep finding the trees? Um, this field is just, that is just so long. We, we, we're getting to the point where we're, we're not seeing the ends of the fields. So I, the, from that side of the map, I'm actually, I, I actually have a little bit of an issue with it because it does feel so far beyond. Uh, so far beyond usable I'm not sure how playable it would be even even in multiplayer at this point I am asking this question how playable is this actually is this map with these size fields because you are gonna you are gonna get so much and we'll see what starting equipment you have you start with field 29 so you start with one huge grass field and to be perfectly honest, if you start with anything other than grass equipment as a result, I I will be surprised. I'm sl ever so slightly disappointed, I think. And I think what we're going to do is probably gonna cut across field 28. That is now to our left. Uh, to our right, sorry. Uh, but we come up here, we've got to... So we've got the BGA over here, but first we're going to have a look here. This is the sawmill. So it looks like a cell point for logs and a cell point for wood chips so that's uh, that's all nice and good and then if we head back over here and yeah there we go there's the BGA so we'll head into there 
roadblock at the end here, so we can't go any further. And yeah, there is our BGA right at the edge of the map. But there is so field 28 actually is. Uh, <laughs> look at this! You cannot see the edges of this field. That is just humongous. We are driving through the middle of field 28 and it is just completely, totally and utterly enormous. And I, d I don't know how you would farm this, to be honest. That is so far beyond. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I think, I think somebody would have massive fun on here for hours upon hours. Uh, and just, just farming this as a... Uh, uh, as a multiplayer, but man, that is just crazy. So this is the road that we passed earlier. Good to see that that comes up sort of into the forestry. And if we go and have it, we're going to dive into the forest at this point and have a look. Uh, so it does nicely use the forest ground texture. That's good to see. We do have a few bushes and uh, tufts of grass and things in it as well. As so I quite like that, uh, our trees. So we got those trees that I think. I think those are from the previous, they are from the previous version of FS. I'm not noticing a massive, um, you know, they have been rotated, they've not been placed all uniform, which we've had on a few maps before. So good to see that, that is, uh, that is really nice. Some care and attention taken to the forestry, and as you guys know, I look for that in the forestry, because it's, that is, that is an area of the map which you don't always get a lot of gameplay on, and yeah they've done they've done some good work with that so i'm liking that a lot in fact i think we have some different tree models in here as well which is good to see now i'm going to see if we have a road out this way we do have a field boundary it should take us uh if it is a field boundary that we can drive along then uh, it should take us back up to the main road uh, where we'll get back to the main thing but yeah, some good, good use of the, uh, the standard bushes and things in here, and it is, it is just a standard field boundary. So, uh, but it is grass, thankfully, so that makes it easy for us. And again, two massive fields: field ten, where we cannot see the edge of it at all, and uh, and field nine. Again, huge. Yeah, you do. There is this leap on this map of fields between. From, from really tiny stuff to just massive fields that are that you need massive equipment to work and you'd make a lot of money you'd make a lot of money very well very quickly i say in air quotes uh, because obviously you need to do uh, you need to do a single field to do it um but it's, it's earning that money to get that single field done in the first place and i'm actually going to look at the missions on this i'm hoping there are there are contracts on this uh, because I think I think contracting could make a ton of money on this straight off. So back down through the town uh, and back to our main farmyard. Uh, not a huge number of cell points actually that we've come across on this map. Seems to be for such a huge, huge, giant map. Seems to be very devoid of, uh, of cell points. Uh, which is uh, which is slightly surprising. I I kind of would like to see more of that. Uh, field 35, even field 35, you know that's a large grass field. Definitely getting a ranch field to the middle, a field to the middle of this. And if you ca yeah, coming round here, we uh, we actually have horses. So we have a horse paddock here. That's what that is. And, uh, and yeah, we've got cows to, is that cows, I think? Yeah, in that shed there, cows to the east. Uh, and we've got, wow, we, I've just seen some of the equipment. So yeah, we've got cows in this barn here. And we do have a storage area. So plenty of space to expand our farm though. Lots of placeable area here. So it looks like it's, uh, it's one of those maps that doesn't have so it has a built farm that you are then have the ability to extend. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the cell points, see how many cell points we have. 
Uh, and then we're going to have a look at the equipment you get uh, given to start this. And uh, and yeah, and as we've already had a look at the field prices. So uh, that's all good. So uh, let's pop in and have a look at the... Um, uh, let's have a look at the sh uh, the sell points. So sell points, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sell points. Uh, we do have multiple sell points for our grains. Looking at this, um, yeah, all of our grains have multiples. We have extra for cotton. So cotton is actually taken at our main sell points plus one other. Uh, sugar beet, yeah, sugar beet. Yeah, everything is taken in the main three. Two egg sell points, uh, one interesting, one wool sell point, four cotton sell points. So that I find massively interesting. Uh, two sell points for the milk, uh, two sell points for the silage, uh, which is not that surprising. Uh, four sell points for straw. So uh, there's uh, there's actually, for what we saw, I, I didn't realise there were seven sell points. Uh, we, I think we missed quite a few by the looks of things. And looking at the map, looking at the map, we drove around all of them. So that's that's really interesting. I don't know if it's a fact. It's a case of some of them aren't marked on the map, but certainly I'm slightly surprised by that. Let's see what equipment we start with as well. So we start with a Case Maxim a CBX one four five. Uh, and a John Deere uh, 6135M. So two not overly powerful tractors. What, uh, 175 horsepower and 142. A TX32 um, on on here is, a li to me, is a little bit ridiculous. Uh, we got a Lizard, lizard uh, pickup uh, 2014. Yeah, uh, Mahindra is what we added to drive around the map. Uh, we've got the TKD302, which works well with that combine. The Agramas POH5, that is a tiny plow for this, uh, for this map. A BTC18, uh, oh, sorry, no, a BTC50H. Uh, so that is five meters. Kerbalan Opta, four and a half meter cedar. Uh, a Kuhn Axis 40.2 uh, M ECMW fertilizer spreader. Uh, so that does 24 meters. Uh, we've got a weeder as well, which is a nine meter weeder, uh, an Mbok, uh New Max Star uh, 900. I've probably pronounced that wrong. A couple of weights, uh, a 1000 Aggo and an SB700. Uh, then we've got large grain silo and a vehicle workshop. So large grain silo and vehicle workshop are the two things that would be missing if you started this as new farmer, uh, the rest of this farm would all be here. So this this is the workshop, and then the silo is. I think the silo was the other side over there. Uh, so yeah, it's um, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. The the that you start off with fields. Uh, this is this actually to me is a little bit ridiculous. The only field you start off with as a new farmer is field twenty nine. Uh, so if we have a look at that, so field 29, yeah, in fact, you own this yard and that, and it's, yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of how this map starts, to be honest, um, to start you with what must be a grass field, so let's turn grass on, yeah, starts you with a grass field, uh, and no grass equipment, but equipment for a field yeah, you don't own any arable land. It starts you purely with arable. So there's a bit of a mismatch there. I, that's unfortunate, I think. I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that. I think I would sell most of the equipment you start with. Get yourself started with grass equipment and on, on Field 29. Because I think that would much better suit this map. Um, otherwise, uh, field prices, field sizes are a little bit ridiculous for my liking. Might work well on the multiplayer, but I, I can't honestly say. Uh, it, it does feel like a very Germanic map. Um, I'm not sure it fits exactly where it says it is, but I don't think that's the end of the world. Um, but yeah, certainly I think this is much more a multiplayer map than a single player map. And, uh, and yeah, if you want to have a really big challenge in multiplayer, uh, got several friends together, want to do some massive fields, I think this is the perfect map for you. 
Uh, beyond that, I don't think it's a great map for most people. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend it if you want to do multiplayer and do a large thing. I, I don't think it's a great one for, for single player. Um, so if you do want to do that, if you want to check it out, uh, it is available via the Giants Mod Hub. It is only available for Mac and PC. And uh, and it is by S. Nick Snack. Uh, by the looks of things, I think. So uh, all that remains is for me to say uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this first look. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.